if you want to see how I went from this to this, then stay tuned. So first you're going to need a spaghetti squash of course, two, three cloves of garlic, half an onion, a few cherry tomatoes, a blend of seasonings like salt and pepper and crushed red peppers and stuff like that, a pesto sauce, and Italian seasonings. So first, major key alert, please put your spaghetti squash in the microwave for about five to six minutes so it can um, be soft and it's easy for you to cut because it is a difficult squash to cut. So that's definitely a big tip for everyone. Now you want to scoop out all the guts and everything. Just scoop it out. Just get all the um, seeds out. You can do whatever you want with the seeds, but definitely scoop it out. Now I'm getting some olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice, but preferably like olive oil and drizzle it over there, over it. <laughs> and then sprinkle your blend of seasonings on top. Um, just make sure it's evenly coated so both squash and get um, seasoned. And then bake it at 400 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. While that is baking, let's saute the stuff that's going to be inside. Yum. So I'm sauteing um, the onions and garlic first. And then after that kind of gets cooked and browned, then you put the tomatoes in. Because you don't want the tomatoes to get in first because it's going to make the olive oil like watery. And you want that process to happen at the end. So you can see like all the um, things bubbling down there. That's what the tomato juice was doing. And now I'm adding a teaspoon of pesto sauce to give it some flavor and some Italian flavor <laughs> so now that that is sauteed up I'll take my um, squash out the oven and now it's all toasty and brown and just beautiful here's the fun part now we're going to get the fork and just scrape it it literally just comes off effortlessly it looks almost exactly like spaghetti it's crazy um, just keep scraping try to get as much as you can the more you scrape the more food you get then I added the stuff that I sauteed and put it I split it in half and put it evenly between the two halves of the squash and mix it up you can mix it up outside of the squash and put it in a pot and mix it up to make it transfer easily but yeah cheese is optional like I said here um, I like cheese I love cheese so definitely put it on there for extra pizzazz broil it on high for three to four minutes and you're good to go hunties all right see you next video bye